Hi students, we're going to be looking today at another app and website that are great for practicing English. Um, today is specifically a listening app and it's also connected to a website. So first I'm going to jump over onto my phone and show you the app version of the program. Then I'll jump back over to my computer and show you the website version of the same program. Um, the program that we're going to be looking at today is called TED, T-E-D, TED. And you can find this app on either your Android Play Store or on your Google, um, not Google, sorry, your Apple App Store. Um, you would just search T-E-D. Um, let me pause right here so that I can jump over to my phone recording. All right, so I've jumped over to my phone so that I can show you um, how to use the app on your device and some of the different options that are available with this app. And then we will jump back over to the computer so I can show you the website version. So I already have this app installed, but I'm still going to go into my Play Store. Or on an iDevice, I'm going to go into my App Store. And you're just going to search for TED, which is the TED program. It's going to be this top option. Um, on my phone, on my screen, it shows me the open button, but on your screen, it'll be the install button here. So when I first open up this app, I will see a variety of videos at the, on the first screen. And I could just jump right into a video and start watching. Um, across the bottom, I have these options of um, Discover, which is searching, podcast, which are just listening options, and then my TED, which is where I could make an account. Um, accounts are not necessary to make, but if you do make an account, then you can save items as your favorite listenings or your favorite lectures. You could um, connect your account then on the website, and you could listen to them on your computer or on a on a, um, a digital device. Um, what TED does is they are a global organization who records lectures in hundreds of different cities across the world. They're continuously adding new lectures. Most of the lectures are between five minutes up to about 10 to 15 minutes. They are really beautiful, clear um, listening activities, and you can find something on just about any topic that you are interested about. So if I go under Discover, it's going to give me a bunch of different topics. Um, I can click here where it says see all and I can see a list of the topics. Uh, for example, I'm interested about videos from Africa. I'm going to click on that or I'm interested in videos about agriculture or um, aircrafts. As I scroll down, you'll see that there are hundreds of different topics. When I click on a topic, for example, biology, I'm going to click on biology there in the middle. Now it gives me a bunch of different videos that are related to the topic of biology. Um, the biology of gender from DNA to the brain. How a long forgotten virus could help solve the antibiotic crisis. Um, how we study the microbes that are living in your gut. Myself, I'm not really interested in biology, so I'm going to look for... Uh, I'm very interested, though, about body language. Um, and right away, I see a video at the top that's very interesting to me personally. Can you really tell if a kid is lying? So let me click onto that video, and I'll show you some beautiful options that this app has. Now, one thing that you should be aware of is that this app is full of videos. So if you are not using Wi-Fi, it would use a lot of your data to stream videos. However, you do have the option to download a video. That's this button right here with the arrow pointing down. Um, this would then store the video file on my phone. So for example, I'm at home with Wi-Fi. I download three or four videos that I might be interested to listen to. I listen and watch one of them on the bus or I listen to one of them on my um, hour lunch break at work. Um, I listen to one of them while I'm at school on break. If I click here, play, it's going to start playing the video. But quick before I do that, some other things that I can do here, 
Um, I have a heart, which means I could add it to my list of loved videos. Um, I have an add button, which means I can add it to a list that I want to watch in the future. Um, as I scroll down, I see some videos that are similar. Um, how to spot a liar, the future of lying. I'm going to click here on play. As it starts to queue up this video, a few different options here across the bottom. Um, let me pause the video. A few different options across the bottom. This button will give me my transcript or my um, subtitles. So I could put the subtitles into my own home language or I could listen in English and put the English subtitles so that I'm catching the vocabulary that I might be missing otherwise. Let me clear this off really quick. It gives me a lot of different options. I'm going to put English subtitles. Hi. Let me ask the audience a question. Did you ever lie as a child? If you did, could you please raise your hand? Wow. This is the most honest group of people I've ever met. So for the last 20 years, I've been studying how... All right, I'm going to pause that video now. So... This is about a 10 minute video, 13 minutes. I can listen to some really beautiful vocabulary um, and practice my academic listening. My students who are going to university, a great way to utilize this would be to take notes during this lecture and try to catch the main ideas, try to write down new vocabulary. Um, other students who are not planning on university, still a great way to improve your listening and catch some new beautiful vocabulary. Let me click back out here. Um, if I, for example, want to find a specific topic, I do have this search bar up here at the top where I can click and I can search for something specific. Uh, for example, I'm interested in teaching. And so I find a lot of different videos about teaching. Um, there's actually a teaching topic. As I scroll through, I can see there are hundreds of videos that I could watch about any topic that I'm interested about. So, um, again, this program on the App Store is called TED, T-E-D. Um, you're going to see it on the Google Play Store. You're also going to find it on the Apple app store, the iTunes store. Um, this is a free app. It's a free website to use. It's a free program. The only caution is that these are video files. So unless you're using Wi-Fi, you have the possibility of using a lot of data for watching a video, but you can save a video so that you're not using your data. I'm going to jump back over to the computer so that I can show you another nice aspect of this uh, program, which is their website. TED.com. Okay, so um, let me jump over to my browser, my Google Chrome, or my um, Microsoft Edge, uh, Safari, Opera, whatever internet browser you're using to access the internet. And then I'm going to, in my address bar up across the top, type in my um, www.tedted.com and it'll bring me to the main landing page of the TED website. Um, just like on the app, you'll see a whole variety of videos that are available. You have the login option in the upper right hand corner where you could um, create an account. You can log in with Facebook, connect it to your Facebook account so you don't have to remember another login and password, or you could create a new account um, down here along with this sign up. Again, the benefit of creating an account is that it can sync across your devices. So if you find a video that you really like um, when you're browsing on your phone, you can favorite it, open it up on your desktop later or on your laptop computer, and then watch the video that way. Um, again, across the top, I have watch, discover. Um, there are more things about participating or attending a TED event. Um, wherever you're located at in the world, there might be an event near you. There is an annual event in Fargo um, at the end of July, approximately. Um, 
So with Watch, I can look through the library of talks. With Discover, I can look by topics. If I just come to the right side of my screen, I can scroll down to see different videos that have just been recently uploaded. Um, continue scrolling down for different like playlists, different recommendations, um, just lots and lots and lots of different ways to browse through the videos. So I'm going to click on Discover and I'm going to go to Topics. I'm going to go. I'm going to go to Topics. And here we're going to see the same list of topics that we saw on the app. Um, I could click here, get get started, and it's going to kind of it's going to kind of help me um, find a video that I am interested in. But I can also scroll down through my A to Z list of topics. For example, I come down under H. There's happiness, healthcare, history, um, the human body, humanities, humor. Um, I'm interested in humor. I could use some more laughter in my day. So um, at the top, they have playlists where it's, you know, here this one is 14 videos. This one is 12 videos that all have a similar kind of theme, um, specific talks about humor, um, and on and on and on. Again, if I click into one of these, um, inside the mind of a procrastinator, let me click on that one because I am definitely procrastinator. When I open this up, you're going to see the video. Um, you're going to see a small um, selection of videos recommended on the right side after you watch this one. What should you watch? You can click on the button um, in the bottom right corner of the video to play or to pick your, um, not to play, to pick your subtitles. So I'm going to pick subtitles in English. I'm going to click play. And right now you're not going to hear the sound of the video because my recording software takes over the microphone so you can't hear the sound of the video. Um, but let's just jump into it a little bit and you'll see that there are, again, the subtitles across the bottom. You have the option to like it, add it to a list, etc. I also on the website have this option of transcript which is where I can click and then below the video, I can see the text. And so instead of having just subtitles, I can actually play the video up here in the top left and I can follow the text. Watch that blue box changing. And it is following the audio of the video, although you can't hear the video audio again because of my microphone. So, in summary, the TED website, the TED app are both very valuable ways to practice English listening at home, um, English listening, English vocabulary as you're reading those subtitles across the bottom of the screen, um, and also just to research something that's interesting to you. Um, use something that you are interested in to study English. If you're interested in football, soccer, Find videos talking about football. If you're interested in language, like I am as a language teacher, find videos talking about language. Um, you can find almost any topic. I'm sure that you could find a video on the TED website or through the TED app. Just again, be careful that you are not using your own data um, and that you are using Wi-Fi or downloading videos when you're connected to Wi-Fi and then watching them as you're out and about in um, your daily life. So let me know in the comments what you think about the TED program. And um, if you find any good videos, tell me about them so that I can watch them also. Also, let me know in the comments what other types of apps are you searching for? What else do you need help with in your um, English studies? Until next time, saying bye students.